A South Florida nightclub at the heart of a sex scandal, and tonight a judge throws out the case. The club's owner stood charged with running a business for the purpose of sexual lewdness and prostitution. But the night team's Diana Diaz is live outside Trapeze 2 tonight, and it's open for business. Diana? That's right. We're going to take you inside to show you what owners here say isn't happening. They say inside the doors here you won't find prostitution, you won't find any lewdness. Instead, people have to sign up for a membership card, pay their dues, then they receive one of these to get inside the club. As you can see, there are signs posted around every corner once they do get inside, telling them what they're going to find. And then when they get in here, it's up to them to decide which way they're going to go. Through the eyes of the law, this is not illegal. Based on the case law that the court has cited and incorporates in its ruling by reference, the court hereby grants a judgment of acquittal as to all three counts in this proceeding. On Wednesday, a Broward County judge throwing out the case against the Trappies Two Swingers club owner who was charged with providing a place for lewdness after Broward County Sheriff's deputies raided the club shooting undercover video last year. There were various stages of um, various stages of sexual activity, everything from fondling um, on the exterior of the towels to um, fondling of breasts, genitalia, fellatio, intercourse. Um, there appeared to be swapping of partners. The law states that someone besides the undercover officers had to be offended in order for this to be considered lewd, and the judge found no one else inside offended. The undercover raid and subsequent charges infuriating the club's owner. It really, really ticks me off. You know, this was, this was fabricated falsehoods and uh, you know it we spent a lot of time a lot of effort and a lot of money defending ourselves from something that should never have happened in the first place he says everyone who steps in the door signs papers telling them what acts they might encounter and there are signs warning what lies behind each door most jurors who didn't get to decide the case also agree the only people inside the club were consenting adults there was no case really I thought it was it was uh, appropriate. It just happened. We have n I have nothing okay. to say. Prosecutors not talking about the outcome or how this will affect the other cases pending. The day's decision coming as good news to those who come here. You know, we did lose a lot of taxpayers' dollars on this, and it was just a waste of time right from the beginning. So I'm just happy it was thrown out and that we could come and do what we want to do. And in this room, for example, there's only dancing and dining allowed, food that's served here in the dinner hours. And as far as the sheriff who authorized the raid, he today had no comment. We are live near Fort Lauderdale. Diana Diaz, 7 News 19.